Welcome to Insightful Gaming, the ultimate gaming oasis. Get ready to have your mind blown as we unravel the mystery of an incredibly powerful build that has been secretly shiny ever since the launch of Lifefall. At the heart of this indomitable creation, you'll discover the mysterious Nothing Manacles, a pair of exotic gloves that morph you into an all-conquering titan, fully capable of launching abilities and supers non-stop, all while remaining at full health in the midst of intense combats. But, hang on a second. That's not you and the cherry on top. Fasten your seat belts as we unravel how this potent build can skyrocket your gaming experience to uncharted territories. If you find this walkthrough helpful, please make sure to like, share your thoughts in the comments section, and subscribe to our channel for more riveting gaming content. Let's dive into the nuts and bolts of this build and behold the awe-inspiring power of Nothing Manacles, furnished with a unique Scattered Charge perk. This perk generously provides an additional Scatter Grenade Charge and Lethal Tracking Shatter Grenade Projectiles. With this formidable duo at your disposal, you're set to reap the benefits of all three aspects. Having grasped the central mechanic, let's examine our rotation. Start with a bang. Toss a grenade into the horde, inflicting damage and recharging your melee energy. Obliterate targets with grenades to trigger devour, leaving your enemies weak and vulnerable. Next, summon your healing rift to harness the might of Child of the Old Gods and utilize your melee to create a surge of grenade energy. In the brief pauses between grenade throws, brandish your trusty primary void weapon to ruthlessly overpower your foes. Each kill you score will generate orbs of power, ensuring a relentless onslaught of abilities. And fear not, as Devour will keep you in perfect health and your grenade energy at maximum. As an awe-inspiring super Nova Hurlin powerhouse, Release your abilities freely and uphold the relentless cycle. Straightforward, fluid, and formidable, this build flaunts unrivaled versatility and strength, marking it as one of the most fearsome in the game. With the exotic and its perks in your arsenal, you'll be a force to be reckoned with, wiping out adds and champions with ease, and ready to triumph over any challenge that destiny throws your way. Now let's explore the arsenal that will catapult this build to untouchable heights. To pull this off, we require a primary weapon that dishes out overshields as if there's no tomorrow. So keep an eye out for weapons equipped with the Repulsor Brace perk. This outstanding perk awards overshields when you defeat enemies, granting you a whopping 4-5 HP shield for a full 8 seconds, which becomes even more formidable with our reliable Echo of Persistence fragment. Some top-notch weapons to consider include Veal's X, Hollow Denial, or the latest Old Age Bond from the Last Wish Raid which comes with Repulsor Brace and Destabilizing Rounds. You are free to opt for what best suits your anti-champion strategy. I am currently using Malfeasance for the Unstoppable, and it meshes beautifully with this build. If you've had the Catalyst, which I'm still working on, it would be even more beneficial. As for our heavy artillery, feel free to choose any heavy weapon that catches your fancy. I personally recommend Apex Predator, equipped with the handy reconstruction and bait and switch perks. Next in line, we'll explore our enchanting array of abilities meticulously crafted for this build. Each of these abilities is chosen with utmost precision to perfectly complement our gaming style and to significantly enhance our battlefield efficacy. Meek, Cataclysm, our awe-inspiring ultimate ability that empowers us to unleash a colossal Nova Bomb. This bomb seeks out enemies and spawns miniature black holes upon detonation, an ideal choice for wiping out clusters of foes or taming formidable opponents. The Scatter Grenade steals the spotlight as our preferred choice of grenade. This grenade fragments into numerous small pieces over a wide area, triggering a series of explosions. Paired with our exotic, the might of this grenade becomes boundless. Next, experience the restorative wonders of the Healing Rift, our class ability that generates a circle of healing energy to swiftly rejuvenate health and shields. Our mobility receives a significant boost from Burst Glide, the Voidwalker's movement ability, permitting us to glide through the air, cover considerable distances, and attain superb agility. For melee combat, we employ the phenomenal Pocket Singularity, summoning a compact black hole that entraps enemies before erupting on impact, an ideal tool for wiping out groups of lesser foes or preparing larger targets for our other abilities. Together, these abilities blend seamlessly, crafting a cataclysmic combination that turns us into an invincible force in any confrontation. Moving forward to the aspects that bolster our build, we present Child of the Old Gods. This aspect equips us with two fragment slots and synergizes exquisitely with our build. Casting your Rift summons a Void Soul that homes in on and harms your target, weakening them in the process. As the target's power depletes, grenade and melee energy are granted when healing Rift is active, a magnificent addition that enhances our grenade cooldowns, enabling limitless grenade throws. Our next aspect, Feet the Void, activates Devour upon eliminating a target with a Void ability. With Devour active, 
Finishing blows restore health and extend devour while also supplying grenade energy. These aspects open up numerous strategies for producing grenade energy, crippling enemies, and surviving the toughest fights. Shifting our attention to our fragments, we chose an Echo of Provision, which rewards melee energy as we assault targets with our Scatter Grenade, an outstanding fragment that allows us to gain melee energy effortlessly through this build. Following that, we have Echo Cessation, which creates Void Breaches upon eliminating volatile targets. Our next pick is Echo of Exchange, which supplies grenade energy on melee final blows. This is a flexible spot, and I sometimes opt for Echo of Undermining to weaken targets. Finally, we introduce Echo of Persistence, which extends our Devour. However, this slot is flexible, and can be swapped with a mod of your preference if you believe we have ample healing. These fragments integrate impeccably with our build, focusing on the skillful use of grenades to dominate the battlefield. Next on the agenda, let's discuss our stats. First off, you'll want to max out your Resilience, which offers an incredible 30% resistance to damage. Then, make way for Discipline, the lifeblood of our build that ensures a constant supply of grenade energy. These two all-star stats are ready to take your gaming experience to stellar heights. Now, let's dig deeper into Armor Mons, the secret ingredients that mold our build into an indomitable force. We're incorporating two Ashes to Assets mods, providing bonus super energy with each grenade kill. And trust me, with this build, grenade kills are a plenty thanks to our potent scatter grenades. Next up, we're using Harmonic Siphon, which releases an orb of power after quickly landing Void Weapon Final Blows, a perfect strategy for swiftly and efficiently generating orbs of power. Moving on to gloves, we're decking ourselves out with a grenade kickstart mon, instantly refilling grenade energy when exhausted. Though it uses up one armor charge buff, fret not, our build is overflowing with armor charges. Paired with our exotic perk, we'll see our grenades replenish in just a flash after using them. Next, we're utilizing bolstering detonation to gain class ability energy when we deal damage with a grenade. Lastly, we're deploying Focusing Strike, which gives us class ability energy when we inflict damage with a melee attack. When it comes to our chest piece, feel free to personalize this slot with your chosen defensive mods. For our boots, we've equipped an Innervation mod, which trims grenade cooldown each time an orb of power is collected. We're also sporting Stacks on Stacks, which awards an extra armor charge stack for each orb of power collected. This translates to gaining two stacks with a single orb. Additionally, we're employing Insulation, which shaves off ability cooldown each time an orb of power is picked up, and believe me, we're orchestrating an orb bonanza. Lastly, for our Warlock Bond, we're implementing a Bomber mod, reducing grenade cooldown when we use our class ability. In addition, we're deploying an Outreach mod, which minimizes melee cooldown with class ability use. To round it all off, we're integrating the Reaper mod, assisting in producing another orb of power after scoring a kill post class ability usage, a common occurrence in this build. Let's delve into the next thrilling segment of our power packed build, the formidable seasonal mods. These are the essential embellishments that perfect our electrifying setup, amplifying your abilities to unprecedented levels and leaving your adversaries defenseless. First off, we have an array of five unique Anna Champion mods at our disposal. For our build, choose the ones that best suit the specific activity you're tackling. For the second row, we handpick authorized mods Void and Melee. These treasures offer a significant reduction in the energy costs of all armor mods that influence your melee and arc abilities. In the third row, choose Unto the Breach. This mod triggers a Void Breach upon defeating a Void debuff target while your Void subclass is active. Moving to the fourth column, we selected the Counter Charge mod, which rewards an Armor Charge stack each time you stun a champion, and the Protective Breach mod. This mod provides an Overshield or renews your existing one whenever you collect a Void Breach. Lastly, in the fifth row, we've chosen Supernova, which triggers a large weakening pulse from your next source of Void damage upon picking up a Void Breach. We're also including Squad Goals. Executing a finisher while Devourer is active imparts Devourer to nearby allies when your Void subclass is equipped. Ladies and gentlemen, we've reached the grand finale of our build. I trust this video left you both enlightened and amused. If this video tickled your fancy and you crave more, don't hesitate to drop a comment, smash that like button, and hit subscribe. Until our next rendezvous, keep hustling and may the RNG gods shower you with their blessings.